welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are seeing some similarity in other videos it's because I'm filming today a couple of videos so sorry about that not ra I'd rather uh, look different but I have to say that it's a beautiful day sunny and very very perfect I'm right next to a window so it's the perfect date for shooting and aside of that a couple of days ago I received one palette that I was so happily expecting to get in the mail and this is the new Too Faced Everything Nice um, this is one of their holiday season palettes and I know they usually come with one I don't have the other ones at all I couldn't get my hands on it I was very late and the prices that they have on eBay first of all I haven't found one that is actually reliable that I feel it's going to be a good deal and the second thing is the prices so I dropped the idea of trying to get the last year holiday palette and I was one of the first ones to get the new palette this year so the packaging is awesome I already took it out of the box and this is the box where it comes in here you go very very similar to the packaging of the palette itself and on the back very nice layout with all the names of the colors so um, there might be some if you have some duplications in some other palettes that you own from Too Faced you can know what you're getting you're getting also a three-piece brush set that they didn't include as my understanding is last year you get also a travel size better than sex mascara and a beautiful bag uh, that's uh, pink and has two sides that I'm going to show you in a minute so this is the bag beautiful baggy it's a little bit big for a purse though it's more like a travel bag and from the other side is all glittery I have to say if you can see hmm, yes I have glitter in my hand not a whole bunch but yeah it has a little bit of fallout nothing you can't you know it's expected from something with glitter they made a very nice detail here kind of an ornament and when you open it up it also makes it easier and it's lined inside so that's pretty nice it's very very nice quality material and again it's more like a travel sized bag makeup bag but it's still a nice thing to have now back to the palette the palette is carton board all of it and it has a printed design that looks like a pink Christmas ornaments and arrangements and it's that's what pretty girls are made of now I'm going to open up the palette and this palette I've used only once so I can already give you my opinion so this side here is all the eyeshadows and this side here are the blushes the bronzer and the brushes and I haven't take off the filming protective thing that comes in so maybe I'm blinding you okay so this is better I think I'm trying to move it around so you can see the colors and uh, what I have to say is for the colors that I have used so far which is basically one two three four colors out of the palette very good pigmentation easily to blend no chalky no nothing now I have to say that I think I have some of those colors in my other palettes I don't want to go over all my palettes to find those colors not really because I don't want to feel that I have I don't know and if there are colors that are duped um, I don't care because I think they're all gorgeous colors now I do want to do some swatches and that's something that I would definitely do in a minute I just want to say that I also feel that they actually included some beautiful um, neutral colors that are amazing 
After Hours is one of the colors that I'm adoring. It's a beautiful champagne color. Marvelous is also beautiful. And this color I am loving here is a girly. It's kind of a green iridescent color. Very, very beautiful. So I'm going to do some swatches. And again, girls, I am not going to use primer just because I feel that the primer also emphasizes the hold on it and you know and you tell the quality of a product without primer. Primer is intended to yes help on the color payoff and yes prevent creasing and improve the long wearing of the eyeshadow but the eyeshadow itself has to have pigmentation for that and it will also improve so much. Now I'm going to do row by row so you guys can see the colors. So I'm going to start with Turtle Dove this is a very pale kind of highlighting color, very pale highlighting color that I find matte. Then here you have Paper Roses. This is kind of a peachy pink, very light peachy pink color. Then we have Heaven. And Heaven is a neutral cream, very pigmented color. Last but not least, we have Totally Fetch. This color is very similar to a color that's in the Revel palette. And as you see, it's a iridescent hot pink. Alright, now to the second row. I'm going to be doing Dream On, which is this one here. Also very light, kind of creamy color. Kindness is free. This is a peachy pink, medium peachy pink, shimmery color. Shiny Happy is a very light golden color. And then Live It Up is a purple with blue sparkles. Don't think the camera will catch this guy. Now to the third row, we have After Hours, that I was saying, it's a beautiful color here. It's a great lid color, it's um, a medium brown, kind of champagne color as well. Then you have Marvelous, it's kind of in the same one. One, it's, I would say the After Hours is more a warm tone and Marvelous is more like a cool tone in the same family range. Then you have Honey Pot, and Honey Pot is a beautiful gold shadow. It's just gold. And last but not least, this is Two Glam, and Two Glam is a beautiful teal green. There you go. The three shadows. Now the fourth row, we're starting with Found of You, and this is a matte, medium brown, very good for uh, blending and crease. Then we have BU, this is kind of a mobby brown, and it's also matte. Then we have Don't Settle, which is a dark medium copper, kind of copper color, gold copper color. And then we have Head Over Heels, and Head Over Heels is a blue with blue sparkles. Now down to the last row, we have Knocked Out, which is a dark matte brown, kind of a mocha. Then you have Secret Lovers, and Secret Lovers is shimmery. It's a dark chocolate shimmery brown. Then you have Girly, which was uh, the one that I was telling you guys about. It's an iridescent green gold green so you don't really tell depending on the angle can look green and or it could look a little bit gold so it's very iridescent and the last one is chocolate moon and chocolate moon is a black 
it's like a black brown or a very very dark brown I still see it kind of black and it has golden sparkles so there you go guys these are all the swatches for the palette on the eyeshadow part I'll swatch a little bit on the blushes so we're going to start with the blush section here and the blush section is sweet pink and papa don't peach and sweet pink is just as uh, its name it's a very sweet baby pink really really beautiful and it has a little bit of shimmer kind of a golden shimmer to it and then you have papa don't peach which is a peachy color and it's very nice velvety peach color both colors will go with everything so it's a good selection of colors then I have here inner light which is a highlight and it's a golden it's kind of a golden peachy highlight and I have something in my nail really it's kind of a golden peachy highlight and I have to say it's very interesting color for highlight you will find here pretty pink then Peppa don't peach and over here if the camera captures anything there it's the highlight and this is inner light now I'm going to get a little bit of chocolate to lay I know everybody knows how it looks like but if you do not it's a dark brown that basically you can contour with because it's totally matte and I have a travel size that I had from the bloggers selection that they had and I'm is the one that I'm using for contour and the one that I've been using for contour until something else I like comes in and then I'm going to take a look on the brushes hard to get out okay so this is a flat brush, it's very thin. So I don't know if it actually will be good enough for contouring. I guess so. I would have to try it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of small, tiny brushes uh, because they don't usually do their job. And then here you have, and I'm taking, they come very nicely wrapped. There's a flat brush to put on your eyeshadow. And then they introduce, which is very nice because almost no palette gives an angle brush. So it helps you to do your liner, your lower lash line. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then they included as well the How to Glamour guide that you guys know they always include. This time it's a little bit smaller. And instead of just three looks, they included a fourth one here. So one is Sugars for Day, Spice for Play, Ready for Joys, and Feeling Risk or Bisk. I don't know. So they also included a guide, which is always nice to have in case you're running out of ideas and you want to you know, go to the guide. All right, so that's pretty much what I have to say. If you are a big fan of the holiday palette, this is one of the best ones out there. I still need to put my hands on the other one that they have at Macy's. I don't recall the exact name, but I know I'm going to get my hands on it, okay? So just be patient with me. I'll get to it and I'll review it and I'll do looks on it as well as with this one and I'll go back with all those things. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I really hope it has helped you to either decide if you want to get this palette or not, if you already have it and you were just looking for ideas and understanding a little bit more of the layout. Um, I would say that there is no way you can go wrong with this one. You have a lot of lit colors. All the medium and tone colors would be lit colors. You have great jewel colors to do colorful looks, you have neutral colors, and then you have smoky colors as well. So very nice layout of colors. Either of the blushes will work with anything you do, and the highlighter and the bronzer are universal, I'll say, 
it was a very good selection from Too Faced. Right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos to leave your comments, your questions, your greetings, anything you like down below in the comment section to also like the video if you liked it. And if you'd like also, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I keep posting things there that I don't usually share on my videos as well. So that's also good to follow if you're interested. And that's pretty much for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.